evening and welcome to the evening devotion on this Saturday, last Saturday of August. It's a pleasure to have you. Bona asifiwe sana. So today we are going to be winding up the first letter of John. So we are going to revisit the issue of the sin that uh, leads to death and then we are going to conclude it. And so we are going to be looking at the last verses of the first letter of John. And so I invite you now to look at your Bibles so that we can be able to, to look together the remaining verses of this letter of John. So we have titled our theme today. As we conclude, keep away from idols, which really is the last thing that John has to say to his uh, readers. So, let us look at this first letter of John, verse 16, all the way to the end. So, it's right there on your screen. First John, chapter 5, verse 16 to 21. And today we are wrapping it up. We are calling it a day as far as this letter is concerned. So, let us look at this text. If anyone sees his brother commit a sin that does not lead to death, he should pray and God will give him life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that he should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, and there is a sin that does not lead to death. Verse 18. We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who was born of God keeps him safe, and the evil. And the evil one cannot harm him. We know that we are children of God and that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. We know also that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we know him who is true and we are in him who is true even in his Son Jesus Christ. He is the true God and Eternal life. Verse 21. Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. And so this is where now we, we bring this to an end. And uh, we said that we are going to ask ourselves, what did John mean by this sin that leads to death? And he is, he is telling the Christians, he is writing to, you know here, they don't bother. There are some people that you should not bother for your intercession. You know, these are the people who are part of you, but they left. Now, don't bother with them. Leave that, leave those people to God. God will deal with them. So there are people to be left to God. And uh, we are going to this is, this is where we added yesterday, we were considering, we were considering the, the, the witness of the Holy Spirit. Remember yesterday we looked at this text that says that uh, if you say anything against Jesus, you will be forgiven, the Son of Man. But if you, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit of God, you will not be forgiven. That is what we were saying yesterday. And so, the reason why the Holy Spirit is such an important uh, person for the Christian is that he is the one we have. Between now and eternity, all we have is the Holy Spirit of God. He is the one who leads us in all truth. Remember, we have read the text of John and he is at pains to say that we know the truth. We know Jesus Christ. We know that Jesus is God. We know that we have eternal life. 
All these things we know. How do we know? We know them by the witness of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, it is important for us to understand. Now, what did John, and the question we are asking here is, what did John have in mind when he, he was penning this? And uh, this is what he had in mind. From the context of the letter, he must be thinking about the Antichrists. These are the people who have seen that leads to death. They have rejected Jesus Christ. They have rejected the Lordship of Jesus Christ. They have rejected the witness of the apostles. Forget about the ultimate Antichrist who will be revealed at the end of the age. John tells us that even now, many Antichrists have risen up. And these are the people who have denied Jesus Christ. If people deny Jesus Christ, we have no business with them. If they say, you know, look here, we don't believe in Jesus Christ. And we don't believe that he is there. If they deny, and remember the people here who are being called the Antichrist, they, are, they were part of Christ, the Christian faith. And then they left the fellowship. Now, these are people that John is warning his hearers that they should be very careful about because these are people who have come up with a strange and false doctrine and therefore they should be very careful about them. In fact, they should have nothing to do with them. The Antichrists were the false teachers. And just like there were false teachers in, G in John's day, even today we have false teachers who come with all manner of strange doctrines. And we are warned, have nothing to do with those people. Don't even waste your time praying for them. That is what John is telling us. And so it is important that we... we we know it is we can pray for those people who do not know Christ. We can pray for those people who have never had the gospel. We can also pray for those people who have known Christ and are backsliding. They are falling in sin, but not the sin that leads to death. They have not denied the faith. They have stumbled they have fallen. We, the, we, the, the, they need our prayers. We need to pray for them. But those people who have said and categorically they have said that we don't care. We don't believe in what you are believing. You are believing a lie. No, no, no. Those people, we have nothing to do with them. We leave such people to the to the, to the eternal masses of God. And that is what John is referring to here as the people who have seen the sin that leads to death. And this is because these people, they have denied the key witness of the Holy Spirit that Jesus is God. And because of that, then, we have nothing to do with them. We have other issues to pray about. And therefore, we should concentrate on praying for those other things. And so finally, uh, John says that without any elaboration, he says, this, this is the concluding verse. He says, dear children, keep yourself from idols. Again, it is the same theme that has been taken. These people, the false teachers, they have become idolaters. They are now worshipping idols. They have denied the faith. And we are told that anything that 
raises itself above God is an idol. And we are warned against idol worship. And so, it is important that we know that in every age, Christians have to contend with idolatry. And I don't know what form of idolatry that we have to contend with, that you have to contend with. But I submit that our generation must submit, uh, must take special notice of the idol of pleasure. Because these are the last days when people are looking for pleasure everywhere. So we must be careful so that we are not caught up in the idolatry of pleasure or the idolatry of witchcraft or the idolatry of black magic or the idolatry of whatever. There are many forms and there are many idols that, that uh, the modern the modern Christian is faced with. So they don't have to be carved. No, 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 no. They, they can take a form of uh, this small phone here. This can be our modern day idol. So it is important that we understand that anything that takes the place of God becomes an idol. And John concludes this letter by warning that we need to be very careful lest we find ourselves worshipping idols. So may the Lord help us so that we can truly worship him and so that we can truly avoid the pitfalls of the Christians that we have read about in scripture because their example is written there for our instruction. So that brings us to the end of this first letter of John. And so from next week, we are going to be considering a new book. And uh, I trust that uh, uh, during this engagement of the first letter of John, I hope that you are now better equipped. I hope that you understand uh, the Bible a little better, even as we continue learning every day. It is a learning moment. We are perpetual students of scripture. So we will continue learning and every day the word of God comes to us in a new way. So may the Lord bless us and may the Lord help us to keep away from idolatry. May the Lord help us to keep away from grieving the Holy Spirit. May the Lord help us to trust him and to trust the witness of the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ indeed is our Lord and our Savior. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and all of us say, Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and everlasting Master, we thank you because of the first letter of John. We thank you because of the many, many lessons that we have learned. We thank you because of the many warnings that are there. And we thank you because of the last warning of the letter that we should keep away from idols. And so we pray that you may search our hearts. And should there, should there be any form of idolatry, we pray that, Lord, you may help us to, pro, to pull all forms of idols down so that only you can have the preeminence in our lives. We thank you. We honor you. We praise you. We give you glory. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So there we go. We are done with first letter of John. And I am sure that uh, you have learned a thing or two in the course of these devotions. And so next week, on Monday, God willing, we are going to start on a new topic or a new book. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow again, tomorrow we still have our online service at 10 o'clock East African time. And I trust that you will find time to join us on this platform at 10 
o'clock East African time as we continue praising God together, thanking him. The corona cases here in Kenya have continued to go down and we thank God because of that new development that has been there this week. And so we pray and trust that those cases will continue going down and down and down and that by the power of God, this thing is going to be behind us. So thank you for those who have continued praying and thank you for those who have uh, uh, had time. This has been our prayer and fasting month as a church and so for those of you who have had time uh, to dedicate a day to prayer and fasting may the Lord bless you uh, who knows maybe it is your prayer that is touching the throne of grace so let us keep keep in touch let us keep praying for one another so tomorrow we hope to be streaming the service live from the CCIC not from home because Next Sunday, we hope to reopen our church. We had said that we have closed for August and we hope to reopen on Sunday the 6th. So we are going to give you details on how we are going to go about the reopening so that we can be able to take care of the Ministry of Health protocols on COVID-19. So, thank you very much. Those of you who are on my screen, Mbarikiwe Sana, Ann Bogwa, Jackson Gini, Francis Karioki, Ann Mudami, Ann Abe, Wadirango Karioki, Prisira Kerode, Helen Helen, Nance Mogore, Jesse Makumi, Gladys Kibe, Isaac Karato, Ann Wanjiko, Ruo Wandongo, Matthew Manjale, Agnes Moge, Purity Njiro, Yes, Faith Megishi, God bless you. So, thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in. And have a very blessed night ahead. See you tomorrow, God willing.